for this one, I think it'd be fun for us um, to share. Why are you shaking your head? No, no reason. Okay. I think it'd be fun for us to share our encounters with <laughs> celebrities. Our encounters with celebrities. I mean, they weren't at the same time, but I've experienced with celebrities, like, past interactions. Kind you of. Do? Kind of, yeah. No, I don't think you do. And you do, too. You used to work at a radio station. Yeah. Well, give your background. No, you go first. I want to hear your stories about celebrities first. Okay. Once when I was, like, in middle school, maybe elementary school, I don't really remember when it was, I went to... This is a good story. This charity. I don't remember when this even happened. <laughs> it could have been a dream. No, it really happened. I was at this charity event. It was an outdoor event, and it was an outdoor concert, and guess who the headline was? The headliners. Baja Men. And at the time, and still to this day, I only knew the song, Who Let the Dogs Out. So does most people. Yeah, so I just happened to be right at the front, because I, I started standing there early, because I saw a whole bunch of people just standing there, because they wanted to be at the front. Um, and then when they started performing, um, I had a confused look on my face, because I was like, what are these songs? But then when Who Let the Dogs Out came on, I was just like, whoo, whoo, whoo. And I was like so excited, so pumped. And then when they were done with the performance, they were walking towards their limo. And me being yeah. the awkward kid that I was, this was the elementary school. Me being the <coughs> yeah. Sorry, Jody. awkward kid that I was, I followed them. And then they turned around right before they got into the limo. And one of them, I can't remember who, gave me a sweaty hug. One of the Baja men. Give me a sweaty hug. Baja men celebrity, pretty big of a stretch. Okay, I have a Justin Bieber story. Oh, this is the biggest stretch for an interaction of all time. Right? Oh my god, my friend Ashley would always send me, she's my first best friend that I've ever had in my entire life. Um, she, why is she so fussy? Maybe we should give her a bottle. There's not much left, but... Can, you know. So, my friend Ashley, she would send me songs. She would listen to this radio, se radio station. Um, I don't know what it was, but people... Okay, it doesn't really matter. She would send me songs and videos of up-and-coming people. She actually sent me Taylor Swift, our song, before Taylor Swift was huge. And then she wow. sent me... Brag. <laughs> no, I'm just saying she <laughs> sent me songs. And so I heard our song and stuff like that before Taylor Swift was huge. Um, but not when she was popular. She sent me videos of Justin Bieber, just his YouTube videos, and I don't know if he was signed at the time, but if he was, it was just right about the time he got signed. And me, was it before or after he went on Ellen? I feel like that's the line. I think this was before Ellen. Wow, before Ellen. I'm pretty sure it was before Ellen. Actually, I have no idea, but I want to. I feel like it was before Ellen. That's the true say. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident. I'm fairly confident. Where are you going? I'm fairly confident it was before Ellen, but. <laughs> it's fine. This is also like a. You're going to keep this? Mommy channel, maybe. But, because people want to hear about Justin Bieber. Yeah, while the baby's. Mama's the expert. So we were watching videos of Justin Bieber during a sleepover at my house. And the one that really stood out to me was him singing the cover of Elliot Yamin's song, Wait For You. Because in this video, I noticed him doing the worm with his eyebrows. Like, the worm with his eyebrows. And... <laughs> Um, I remember me and I pointed it out to Ashley and then I was like, I wonder if anyone else noticed. And we looked through the comments and no one had pointed it out. But we also had noticed that he was responding to YouTube comments. So we um, put a comment like, how do you do the worm with your eyebrows? That's really cool. Also, you're really good at singing. I hope you blow up or something like that. Like, I hope you do well. I've never heard the fact that you complimented him. Yeah, we complimented You're him. That, no, no, no. We, we did because we didn't want to be like bullying him. 
because we, we didn't want him to think we were making fun of him. So we put that up, and then we watched a couple more of his videos, and we went back to see he, if he responded, but the comment was gone. And then we, like, questioned ourselves, like, wait, maybe we didn't post it. Like, I thought we posted it, but maybe we didn't. So we posted it again, we thought, but this time we made sure it posted, and we kept refreshing the page because we were like, oh, my God, she's going to laugh, or he's going to tell us how he did it, or something like that, but then he deleted it. And Again. that is your interaction with Justin Bieber. He deleted your comment on YouTube when he was 13. Yes. What's your interaction with Justin Bieber? I have no interaction with Justin exactly. Bieber. Exactly. We have the same amount of interaction no, with No, I we he saw something that my friend and I typed. Or, we entered his world for a was moment. Was it before or after he got signed? Was that just uh his PR team going through. It, I don't think it was his PR team because it was like YouTuber enthusiasm type of response to comments. Thanks, girl. Be a believer. Okay, whatever. Share your story. And stories. Frank's a believer. <coughs> Show your stories. Okay. Um, yeah, I did work at a radio station. I'll, I'll just do the Snoop Dogg one, I guess, here. Uh, so Snoop Dogg was playing a concert. Okay, well, tell dead. them how you got to interact with them. I was the guy that was in his, like, was around his dressing room for if he needed anything from the radio station. Um, I wasn't there very long. I got replaced pretty quick, but it was just like a shift there. Um, and he was, like, as Snoop Dogg would do, um, had weed going around the whole room, right? The whole room is full of smoke. Um, and essentially that we just gets passed around um, and you're just supposed to take a hit of it regardless if you're employed or not um, she's staring at you she's disappointed in your life decisions. this isn't as good as a video as the last one um, and I think she's upset that it is not as much quality essentially I took it off of a, a Snoop Dogg blunt and it, it wrecked me um, I, don't, I don't understand how he's a functioning human being I don't understand how anybody's there I mean I have to point out he is the guy that rolls his weed for him. I mean, that's his. That's that person's job. I get that. That that person gets sixty thousand dollars plus benefits just to roll weed. But like, I, I don't know. Like that's probably the end of the story. What? Uh, but yeah. Do you want to share another story, or should we move on to the next video? We can move on to the next video. Okay. So if you have any interactions with celebrities you would like to share, please let us know in the comments. I don't think that one should make it. She's just crying.